we found quite a number of interesting results. We've for the first time ever seen how spatial navigation ability changes over the lifespan. The second thing we've been able to see is fundamental differences between men and women, how they navigate space. And finally, we can see interesting differences between different nations of the world. We needed really this global benchmark to create for the first time a database of spatial navigation behaviour which will be really important for the diagnosis of dementia and in the future this will really allow us to personalise much more the diagnosis and treatment for dementia patients. So we're just scratching the surface with this first data. What we'll be doing in the future is looking at more of the information people shared with us. They gave us more demographic information that can really help profile how people perform spatial navigation, giving us that precision that we need to really help build the diagnostic tools of the future. We are very pleased with what has happened so far and uh, we're happy to bring it now to the clinical settings so that uh, the scientists can do very specific further studies with this data.